Now I know there's a whole lot of people out there who are really upset over the fact that we're still talking about Taylor Swift. And it's not just MAGA Republicans who are upset about it. I have had like-minded people on the left side of the aisle say to me, Brando, when are you going to quit talking about Taylor Swift? You've talked about her a whole lot here lately. Well, yeah, I have because she's been a hot topic. A whole lot of people's been talking about her. And I've been seeing the irony and I've been seeing the hypocrisy in the rebuttals against her. And I have to keep calling it out because that's just what I do. And one of the funniest things I have witnessed is the right's reaction to her. And not just their reaction to her, but their reaction to people's reaction to her. It's so hilarious to me to sit and hear these micro Republicans say things like, man, they just worship her, man. They hang on every word she says. They ask her opinion about everything, man. Hell, she ain't no politician. She ain't got no political experience. Hell, why are they asking her for it? And they go out there and they buy her merch and they go to her shows and they listen to her sing and they listen to her talk. And I mean, I don't know why people get so caught up in one person like that. I, I don't know why people worship one person like that. Irony is completely lost on these people. They do not get it. They do not get that that's what we have been saying about them ever since Donald Trump first came down that damn escalator and they all went crazy for him. And they wanted to hear his opinions about everything and he was a dude with no political experience either. He was a dude they latched on to and worshipped and hung on every word and still do no matter what he does. And at the end of the day, I would much rather, if, if they're going to accuse us of worshiping Taylor Swift, which I don't, and I don't know anybody that does, but if that's the, the language and the rhetoric they're going to use, you guys worship her, man. Okay, well, which is worse? Our side for looking up to Taylor Swift, a successful woman who's a great artist who creates her own art and performs her own art, and goes out and talks about the real issues at hand, goes out and talks to young girls about women's rights, talks about abortion, talks about climate change. I would much rather have someone out there talking and raising awareness on those issues as to have a dude over here that wants to be dictator for one day. Over a dude that's been found liable of sexual abuse, guilty of fraud, has four charges, 91 indictments, says he hopes the economy crashes, says don't fix the border because I want to do it. We can't give Biden a win. I would much rather, if I'm going to have a derangement syndrome, I would much rather be listening to, following Taylor Swift, and I would much rather the camera cut to her every chance it gets before they ever stick the camera on Donald J. Trump or anyone that mouths the stupidity that he mouths on a daily basis. They sit and they hang on every word that guy's got to say because he empowers them and makes them feel okay with being cruel. That's what it boils down to. He empowers their hatred, and he empowers their cruelty. And they're mad because you've got a woman over here who is doing the exact opposite. She's empowering young women to speak out about the real issues that matter, and it's about the issues that they're trying to put into place to rule over everybody. That's basically what it boils down to. See, conservatives, MAGAs, whatever you want to call these people, they don't want a woman to speak out unless it's Marjorie Taylor Greene or Lauren Boebert parroting every word that they say. They don't want someone that will rock the boat. They want someone who will remain quiet, who will remain silent and compliant to what they do. That, that's what they want. And Taylor Swift is not that. And the people that looks up to her is not that. And that's why it rubs them so wrong, and that's why they can't quit talking about her. I've always said it's not us that has Trump derangement syndrome. They do. They're the ones that is obsessed with the guy and won't let him go. He is a failed former president. He is a guy who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, who never earned anything in his life. He is not the dude that anyone should want their sons or their daughters or anybody to look up to. So, no, I've never sat through a Taylor Swift song to my knowledge. I mean, I'm sure I have. If, I, if I've been out of the bar somewhere and one of her songs played through, I didn't know it because I don't listen to her music. I don't go to her shows. I don't buy her albums. But I'm more inspired to now than ever because if a woman can get under their skin that bad just for, just for standing up to them, then, yeah, I'm, uh, 
You can call me a Swifty. Go for it.